All right, Bob, thanks. We'll see you back in a couple of minutes talking the COVID-19 pandemic. Experts say that COVID-19 spreads faster and is more aggressive than the original strain. We're talking about a variant here, mm -hmm. and it's the UK variant to the virus we're working to figure out about tonight. It's right here in the upstate. while we're concerned. We found out recent samples from some local water treatment plants have the scientific community concerned. So we did some digging. We reached out to the chief epidemiologist over at Clemson to break down what they found and what it means really for all of us. Fox Carolina Zach Perlutsky joins us live in Clemson tonight with more on what he found. Yeah, Cody and Tori, well, this is one of the three wastewater facility treatment plants here in Clemson that scientists say they take samples from to try and detect COVID-19 in the community. Now, the good news, I'm told that the samples that were taken two weeks ago, there's no sign of the South African or Brazilian variant here in Clemson. But the bad news, I'm told of the samples taken on March 25th from this facility and one other, 100% of those samples showed the UK variant here in Clemson. We're in a race against time to get people vaccinated before the variants really take over. That's how chief epidemiologist at Clemson, Dr. Corey Kalba, feels after a recent study showed the UK variant of COVID-19 is in the community. Kalba and others have been collecting samples from local wastewater facilities to test for the coronavirus, but have only recently been able to sequence those samples to look for variants. He told us recent data showed the UK variant was found in 100% of wastewater samples taken on March 25th from two of the three facilities in the city. Calbaugh says this indicates that multiple people have it. It's worrisome to me and, you know, enough so that I'm willing to remind people publicly to get the vaccine, to wear their masks, we asked people in Clemson how they feel knowing the UK variant is in the community. It's not passable on surfaces, and I'm perfectly in control of how close someone is to me. I, it doesn't really worry me. I think to keep the restrictions for more months so that things ease out. We wanted to know why the presence of the UK variant is so concerning to Dr. Kalba. He says because of its impact on the younger population. There's some early evidence here that the UK variant is more aggressive and leads to more severe symptoms in 30 to 60 year olds. That's a significant portion of Clemson's population outside of its student population. Now we wanted to know from Dr. Kalba if he expects a fourth wave of COVID-19 cases to come. He says that's definitely a possibility, especially with all these new variants coming into play. But he does say if people continue to get vaccinated, if they continue to wear face masks and continue to get tested when showing symptoms, that fourth wave can be staved off. For now, reporting live in Clemson, Zach Prolutsky, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.